Hi there, it's um, Nick Dutch. Yeah, it's dark in here, isn't it? Let's just um, blind you with some illumination. It flickers strangely to life, and I sort of like hope that I don't look like shit now. You can actually see what I look like because the light's on my face. Right, okay, um, this is the great and glorious, soon to be famous, one day, absolutely amazing. Rather tired, Nick Dutch today. Um, this is peculiar for me. I mean, I've got. To, I'll, I'll give you my announcement first, and I'll give you my like poxy pathetic neurotic ramblings, and then you can choose which one you want to listen to, and all the rest. The announcement is: um, sometime next week, I'm starting a course on nutrition, and I want to try and use the information I'm going to be getting from that, and sharing that on this one particular channel with you, because my theme now is mind, body, and spirit. So, the body has got to receive a lot of attention. I've been dealing with like spiritual matters previously, but what about, you know, the spirit of the individual, you know, your essence, your character, your nature, and how that's affected by what you put in your body. Uh, I personally have progressed towards about 75% raw vegan. I don't want to go the whole 100% because I think that that's like medically dangerous and I think that that's wrong. So I'm still eating meat and uh, poultry and fish, which will of course be cooked naturally. But it just won't be the main thing. I'm trying to get as much nutrition out of like my fruit and my vegetables, my seeds and my nuts and that sort of thing as I possibly can. That's right, I said the word nuts. I'm sure someone's going to try and put that out of context at some point, but never mind. But this is for my health anyway, because I want a perpetual journey to improve myself, which is good. Uh, now my, you know, my income is um, increasing, which is weird. I mean, this is the time of year which I normally fear, because I'm really, really busy from like February, March, April, May. Then it dies normally, and I'm terrified about paying the bills until about sort of like September, October time. And it gets really, really busy in November, December, until halfway through December, and then it sort of like dies again until the end of February, March time. You know, that's the way it is. But now we're in the beginning of August, and I'm busy. You know, mostly because I've been around for a while. You know, I've got my little popularity up. I've got my little following going. So this is my, like, you know, I'm knackered today. I'm, I'm tired. I've done good revenue. It's been busy. It's been hectic. I need to get back to doing a tarot show. All right? I have to get back to doing a tarot show. But I haven't had that fucking time. Okay? And, I, and with, with my current setup of where the lights are, where the, you know, tripods, screens, the rest of it, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly set up to carry on doing my series on herbs you need to know because that's very easy to set up i can just like get the camera in place uh, you know do a couple of quick trial runs to make sure i'm like in shot and in shot properly and i look okay and i'm sounding articulate and the rest of that but when it comes to doing the tarot show that requires a lot more in a way of in order for me to get that sorted out uh yeah of course it still takes time with the software i'm using to make everything you know the way I'd like it to be, but that's, um, uh, which is a skill I'm still learning, so I'm still getting to know that new software, because I can't dedicate tons of time to, oh, I know what, I'm going to take the whole day off, and I'm going to render lots of little videos, and put, you know, play around with it, and learn this, that, and the other, and go to lots and lots and lots of websites, and learn more and more about how to improve this particular, no, all right, I've got reserves of time and energy, which I can put into things, and also these days I have a life, Okay, like five years ago when I was here on the internet, you know, I was struggling to pay my bills and all the rest of that. I didn't have a life because I was just struggling to pay the bills and I was doing every hour under the sun and I was killing myself and giving myself sleep deprivation and going insane because I just had to fucking pay the bills. I'm not like that anymore, okay, so I've been able to dedicate some money to doing this course so I can bring you guys more in the way of, you know, real talk, you know. How does your body work? You know, what is it you're doing wrong? What, what kind of things you need to do to make it work better? Obviously, I'm still not a medical practitioner. By the end of this course, uh, I will be qualified, sufficiently qualified to provide like nutritional guidance and the rest of that kind of stuff, but not with the NHS. It's not an NHS course, okay? Because I don't want to work for anybody else. I want to carry on working for myself because that's what I am. You know, I. I it's not just a, oh, this is my identity, darling. This is my identity. <gasps> no, you mustn't stop me with my little identity doing the things that I do with my little identity kind of bubbly thing, yes. 
because there's people out there who are like that and basically I think that's rather rather shallow it's just that I know that I've got lots of positives but I've got a few negatives as well as well you know there's I have enough self-knowledge to know the ways in which I can be working the ways in which I should be working the ways in which I'm more efficient and the ways in which I'm less efficient okay and I'm a bit of a free thinker so I don't really work and all that sort of like you know corporate bullshit like you know, you got to do as you're told, you know, a big authoritarian person who's like a one GCSE qualification, if you're lucky, and even that's a grade E or F, right? So like um, telling me to do the job in a way in which he sees fit, despite the fact he hasn't actually sat down and thought about the words he's using to communicate things, looks at the case history of the problem in question, and blah, 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 blah. And he's just a big shouty person who's been hired to be a big shouty person, you know? I mean, you know, I, I can't handle that stuff. I, I have to be alone when I'm doing my work it means I can be centered I can focus I can use my energy right uh, uh, I, f I feel free I don't feel hampered when I was working on the phone in other companies you know with, like people around me and do, 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 do. I really could not you know just like go with the flow and do the work well these days I've got the knowledge I've got the skills I've got the background I've been doing tarot now professionally on a telephone and internet for eight friendly years I'm older I'm eight years older I'm actually eight years older okay wow Gosh, scary. Time, time just flies, you know. But I, but I, what I have noticed is the when I'm, you know, being a professional tower reader and I'm doing this work, uh, I'm a very different quality of presenter. Very more, very much, you know, much more in in tune with finding out about where people are and feeling their pain. I'm reaching deeper into their situation and being able to tell them what's happening like without them having to tell me because like you know the the bond is there kind of thing it's just like you know wow it's it's, it's a bit trippy and weird and what's already happening up here but i i think i've got this like something innate about me which gives me like really really like creative random thoughts when i'm given a subject right i can like put those random thoughts into a structure and see things beyond that which a normal person would be able to understand or perceive um i think that's the way it is and that's the way it's working i mean i i i, 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 don't, I don't know i mean it, it, that's the way it seems to be i'm just like you know cogwheels are turning 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 often without me wanting them to and and stuff it's a great experience being me I like it it's good fun uh, and actually being able to be there for other people and help them as well um, still marketing the Oxford Therapeutic Coaching, Coaching website which is really important really important to me because you know I've had a few more clients and that's doing doing nicely not quite as big as the tarot tarot work is still like the big thing alright because that's what I that's what I am that's what I do that's my uh, that's the main thing but like once I've done this course in nutrition, will I then go on to naturopathic medicine? All right, let's let's just see if I can do it one step at a time. Okay, just just I may have like a you know a grand vision of like you know in in ten years time I'll be this or I'll, in ten years time I'll be fifty. <laughs> uh, and uh, but what what quality of person am I going to be? What letters am I going to have after my name? What is it about me which I I can use to communicate to the world that I am just more? than just, oh my word, he's just an online tarot reader, he's so unimportant, oh I don't like him, I, I'm an atheist, I prefer this, or I, I'm a skeptic, I prefer that, or I like the JRBF, eh, he's a fucking lunatic. Well, what is it that I can be that will show those people the there's more in me. Okay, I mean, I've studied counseling, I've studied natural science, neuroscience, sociology, psychology, all these things in my past. What about my future? Okay? And how am I going to just like, you know, leave my footprint on the world. Is it just, oh, he's Nick, he's that weird mental fortune teller person, yeah, so we don't like him. Yeah. Or is it going to be like, oh, you know, scratch under the surface and you've got this like real like thing going on, this whole like, you know, massive complex weird human who like knows stuff. That's what I want to be, that's where I want to go and um, I'm taking you with me. Yeah. And it's going to be a laugh. Alright, so... Keep cool, chillax, don't let the bastards grind you down. Peace and love is the only way forward and, you know, be excellent to one another. As the great priests, Bill and Ted once said, okay, be excellent to one another. Love the world.